Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I want I'm gonna make this video, and I really, if you guys, you know, if you're making videos on YouTube, uh, if you comment or anything, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It may be kind of long. I'm just kind of rambling here, but I really want all of you to watch the whole video. Um, so you know, just just bear with me here. Uh, but I, I really, I, I want ma main reason I made this video was to sh really show how what we're doing on here on YouTube, talking about sports, talking about whatever you do, um, can have an effect, uh, a positive effect on, on your real life. Um, most of you know I go to the University of Texas at Austin, and but some of you who don't know is that I am in the College of Communica Communication there, and I am majoring in journalism. Now, I originally went into school for print, to, do, to write journalism, to write for newspapers, magazines, uh, things of that sort. Um, but I've, you know, I've been doing this YouTube thing and I've really been having my eye on broadcast. I just, I really, I love to talk about sports. I love to talk in general. Um, I like to write as well, but, you know, with broadcast you can do both. You know, you get the best of both worlds. So, I have been looking into getting that. Problem is, um, here at Texas, the, uh, we have an exclusive broadcasting, uh, broadcasting uh, degree so you know I think only 42 people get in per year so which with a school with a with a school like the size of Texas it's a pretty exclusive group and one of the things not only do you need a resume uh, your grades and whatnot to apply for the upper division courses you also need a letter of recommendation well me personally I have never had any kind of a professional uh, experience in broadcast. I haven't had, I don't know anyone who's officially in the broadcasting. I, just no one in my daily life had any kind of credentials that could probably provide me with a good uh, letter of recommendation. But then I thought, you know, I thought about this YouTube thing and I, and I thought about someone on here who I think everyone on here respects. I, I thought about Shango. I was like, you know, maybe this guy could help me out. And, you know, Shango's helped me out in the past with some stuff and I went back to him again and I emailed him. I said, hey, man, look, uh, I told him everything what I needed. And I told him, I, in, in the email, I told him, I said, look, man, if you say no, I totally understand it. And I, I still stand by that. If he had said no, um, I would have had no problems with it. Because, you know, we've only met once in person. And all he really knows about me is really the videos that I make. Um, and, you know, to put your name to something, to, to, you know, to recommend someone, that's a big thing. That's putting your name on the line as well. And so if he had said no, I wouldn't have had no problem with it because I could have totally understood it. But he didn't hesitate. He said, yeah, no problem, man. Just let me know what you need, and I'll get it to you. And he did. He delivered. And he, he wrote a great letter of recommendation. Probably made me sound a lot better than I really am uh, with this stuff and moving on. Um, but it came through for me. And, and you know, I, don't, I won't know until April whether or not I get into the broadcast school, but uh, that's irrelevant. Uh, the fact still remains that the guy came through, and because of this YouTube thing, I was able to meet this guy, and he thought enough of what I do, or, or just out of the goodness of the heart, um, helped me out with my education, you know. And I really wanted to make the video mostly just to say thank you, Shango. Uh, you know, I, 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 I thought about him because I mean, he's got the great website. He actually interviews a player, something I want to do. Um, and he's got experience, and... Uh, he he thought enough to to write me a letter of recommendation, and I I can't say thank you enough. You know, and, and the thing is, this is this is a guy who, and, and most people, most of the older guys here on YouTube, when you when you do a favor, when an older person does something, uh, not older like he's an old person, but someone who's older than myself, uh, who's an adult who's got their career, does something for someone younger, it's very difficult for that person to repay them. And you know, th I don't see any way where I'd be able to repay Shango. And he didn't ask me to, and I don't think he will. Um, but what I can do is remember this. Remember that someone did something for me, and so later on down the line in my life, that opportunity is going to come to me. I'm going to have the opportunity to help somebody else, and I need to come through with that. And that's probably the best way to repay anybody. You know, I've got someone who's helped me out with college and stuff. No way I could repay that person, but that's the, the same, that person said the same thing to me. He said, help that person. Help when something comes along and you you have the tools to help someone else, you do that. And hopefully I can do that. Um, so thank you, Shango. And I really just want to make this a lot for the younger guys here on YouTube. 
who are making sports videos or, or even any other kind of videos that you're doing, uh, don't get discouraged. You know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people who will discourage you for being young, saying, "Oh, you know, you're, you're living with your mom, you're you're wet behind the ears, you don't know what you're talking about." Uh, don't don't let that discourage you, and and don't let you know. There's been a lot of negative stuff going on with just the the football stuff in YouTube. We all know about the Cowboys fans having some kind of a tiff. And, you know, don't let that stuff get you down. You know, and, and when people, you know, I've had people send me inboxes and send me comments, um, tell me, call me a sellout, saying that, you know, I, I, I don't, that I, I'm in it for myself, or, you know, tell me I'm smug, tell me that what I'm doing is boring or whatever. Uh, you know, that you're going to get that kind of stuff. And, and don't let that change what you're doing. Don't let other people, you know, dictate what you do. Um, and so, you know, I can't really speak for the older guys because the older guys on here aren't really, are doing this mostly just for fun. And that's what I came on here for as well. And, uh, but they've got their own career. They've got their own families and, and built their own life. I'm working on that right now. And, you know, when I started doing this, you know, I was inspired, of course, by Halen, watched his stuff, got on here just because I like to talk about football. Something happened. People started watching and, and I saw how, I saw how this medium, YouTube, who everyone come, no one's this website. And it's a way to get what you know how to do out to everyone else. So I use this past year to do that. And some people didn't like it. Um, most people did like it, though. And I'm going to keep doing that with the Texas Longhorns and Dallas Cowboys. And so it, it's, it's, it really, so let's just keep going back to the younger guys. You can do something with this whole on, online thing, you know, especially if you're wanting to do media type things, you know. The world's changing. We all know that, but the world is going. The world's going online. It really is. Um, you know, newspapers and, and everything. They're going to soon come. You know, ten, fifteen years could probably be obsolete, and everything's going to be online. It probably could happen sooner than that. Um, what I encourage you, people who want to go, not just into maybe not just into sports broadcasting, but any other kind of media, celebrities or or, or news, actual news. Um, you know, get online. Use your blogs. Use your vlogs. Um, cause that's what people are going to start going to. And, you know, I've gotten offers, uh, for, uh, from people online, uh, for sports things. I'm not the only one. I've talked to other guys around my age. Um, there's a big thing, uh, going on with not just me, but a couple other guys, uh, who do the college sports thing. Um, you know, some of us been contacted, uh, for something. I hope that works out for us. And I, I congratulate everybody who, who's been contacted and, you know, just things like that opportunities come up. So put yourself out there. Don't be worried about what other people say. You know, I've, I've got a big thing. I don't block anybody. I don't erase comments unless it's just, you know, you know, commercial spam. Because I like to let everyone know that no matter what I say, no matter how stupid, whatever, however smart thing you have to say on my video or how stupid it is, I'll let you say it because, you know, it's an open forum here and I don't want to silence anybody. Even the dummies, I don't want to silence them either. Um, they usually get silenced by the other commenters on there. So, just once again, th thank you, Shango. You, you're the man. Uh, you've been the man ever since. And uh, it was just it's really awesome. And, and like I said, whether I get in a broadcast school, that's irrelevant. You, you came through. And it could possibly be something that's really, really just changed the course of my life and changes where I'm going to go. Um, you know, I believe God puts people in your life. Uh, and if you see opportunities, you need to take them. And uh, hopefully I've done that so far. Um, so once again, guys, this YouTube thing can't help you. You know, I mean, I know, I know Cop, you know, he's, he's, I mean, he's a couple years old now, he's still in college. I know Mythos helped him out, uh, with a, with a school project or something, you know, because uh, I know he's in communication as well, so I'm not sure what he's studying, but that, that can happen. You know, if you meet people and, 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 and you can work with people, things can happen for the good. And so, you know, a lot of negative stuff been going on. I'm really making this to let, you know, say that this whole trash talking circle, this thing, it can help you out. It can it, things can work out for you, um, and maybe they can't. You know, don't go don't go into it thinking that you're gonna become a billionaire or that everything's gonna be successful. But go in it with the open mind that I'm doing that. Do something that you love to do, because even if something, even if nothing opens up for you, at least you had fun doing it. Don't come in and fake it and just do stuff that you think people want to watch. Do things that you enjoy doing, and maybe something good will happen. Shango, thanks, man, for the recommendation letter. Hopefully, it goes through. To everybody else, all my subscribers, thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you continue to watch, and I will see you guys later. Hook'em horns, Texas fight, but always.
How about them Cowboys? See you guys.